Hi, my name is Yusef Marinik, and today I have a very special guest. This guest is William, and he will introduce UCX, our Unity Catalog Migration Toolkit. Hello, Yusef. Glad to be there. My pleasure. So please, let's let's be uh, let's say straightforward. Can you explain quickly what's UCX? So UCX is a tool that allows you to migrate very quickly into Unity Catalog. The goal of this tool basically is to guide you to the journey of the UC migration that may be a little bit complex for some customers. Yeah, indeed, indeed, you you are uh, you're right. So uh, what we're gonna do today, what we decided with uh, William, that we're gonna show you how to install all the requirement tool, required tool. We're going to run this UCX on uh, a workspace. Then we're going to explain the different steps you need to follow in order to uh, have a successful uh, migration. And as you can see over here, we have the uh, code available in, uh, in GitHub. So it's just this, it's a Databricks lab project so is go uh, github slash databricks labs uh, slash ucx so make sure just to copy this link and for what's required you need first to have this is very important a python version 3.10.6 at least this is very very important and then once you have this uh, at least this python version make sure to install the databricks cli as you can see in uh, in the screen we need to install uh, the the databricks library a databricks cli and then run this databricks configure within this databricks configure you would be prompt or you'd be asked to enter your uh, workspace url the uh, access token or your email and password once uh, those steps are successful. You just need to go to the CLI and, of course, open git clone, the repo I would put in, uh, in, um, in the description of the video. And then you enter in the go and into uh, UCX doc document. And then you uh, run this, uh, sorry, you run this specific command, which is uh, point slash install sh. That will run the uh, the Unity catalog script, and of course exactly. it will take time. Yeah, exactly. So basically, what's happened during this step is installing the script into a Databricks workspace. So it's very important that first of all you configure the authentication from your local machine to a specific Databricks workspace, because what we want to do there is simply to migrate one workspace into Unity Catalog. So you have to configure that, okay? And so the first step is, do you want to open the configuration file in the browser or do you want to do it locally? So I think, Yosef, you want to do it in the browser, right? Yeah, I will just hit enter because the default answer is yes. It, it will automatically uh, pop up a new uh, uh, tab and you will see that it will open a YAML file where I will have the uh, some uh, uh, configuration. Exactly. And let's so let's this um, this configuration file just to explain very quickly what it does. It just allows you to specify, for example, what warehouse is going to be used to run all of the database commands. If you want to migrate only a specific part of the path of the workspace, for example. You have also a possibility to uh, do some multi-threading. So you have the num threads equals to eight by default, but you want to increase that if you want bigger performance. And you have also uh, other configuration parameters, by the way. Yeah, and just for information, because I already ran the script, that's why it didn't ask me this information. But by the, but if, when you will run this for the first time, it will ask you to choose which SQL warehouse and the path and the threads and all the and But again, it's, everything is declarative. It's so simple and straightforward. And again, it will ask me, open the job overview readme. Of course, that's a yes. It will again yeah. open a readme. And this readme is very, very important. And William will explain 
everything in a in few minutes. Just just be patient. Be patient. And you see now everything, the installation was completed successfully. And now I just need to go to the readme. And at the same time, if I want, I can go to workflows. Uh, William, please, if you can explain quickly the uh, all the workflows that was created over here. Exactly. So all of the workflows that you see there are documented basically in the readme.py that, uh, that has been already created for you. So um, what, uh, what this workflow does is they have basically multiple responsibilities. The first one, so the assessment, is basically generating an assessment of all of the assets that needs to be migrated into Unity Catalog. Because um, you need to migrate the you need to migrate the tables, you need to migrate the mount points, you need to migrate the clusters, you need to migrate some pipelines into Unity Catalog. So there is some steps, and these steps basically is just going to build a dashboard that is going to give you a view of all of the assets that you have in your workspace. For these assets, which one? can be migrated into Unity Catalog or not. And while I'm explaining that, you save this um, opening the dashboard, the resulting dashboard yeah, of this and, assessment. And just something I need to add. So those, that, those workflows will be created for you, but of course you will need to run this, uh, this assessment. This, when exactly. you click on this, then it will once it's done, it will automatically create a dashboard for you. It's called UCX assessment. And then you will see what uh, William was explaining. So the mic is yours. Exactly. So, so as you can see, this assessment gives you, as I say, an overview of what's inside of your workspace. So in this, in the workspace that, that uh, Youssef is uh, using, he has uh, 650 tables, 83 databases, and you will see uh, a first widget that explains you the table types. So if it's a delta table, and also if there is a possibility to uh, to upgrade uh, to upgrade this uh, this table or uh, or not. Then you have a database summary. Basically, in the database summary, if you have uh, assets replication required. It means that you will need some manual steps to do to migrate this database. But there are some of them that can be migrated with an in place sync, which is yeah. the, just one command and everything is migrated into UC. So and, that's very cool. And that's this uh, sync command uh, is very. Uh, is a very easy tool to use. I will also add the link of the video that explains how to use the sync command to upgrade your tables from and uh, tables and schemas from Hive Metastore to Unity Catalog. Yes. And then in the bottom, you have other, uh, other assets. So you have the mount points. With, uh, which mount point do you have in your workspace? And you have also the external location that the assessment job is going to guess for you based on the external table that you have created, right? So this is very helpful for UC migration. Then you have the clusters. If there is a cluster that can be migrated to UC or not, in UCF case, everything can be migrated. But sometimes you may have an old version that is not compliant with Unity Catalog. Then you have the same for uh, for the jobs. So uh, workflows, you have the same for yeah, pipelines. Uh and you can see an example yeah. of where this cluster is not compatible because it was a DBR 11.1 and basically it was uh, for Scala. So why? Because things has changed. We no longer have uh, standard and high concurrency. Now we have single user and shared clusters. Of course, we recommend mainly to use shared clusters. And if you have some limitations, then you can switch course to single, uh, single user. Exactly. And uh, so, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Then you have pipelines, you have service principle, basically all of the assets that need to be migrated to Unity Catalog, right? This gives you an overview of everything that needs to be migrated, okay? So um, then, as you may remember, there are other workflows in the, in the picture. So we saw the assessment and 
Then there is also the workflow, yeah, this one, workflow number two, which is apply permission to backup groups. Then we have replace workspace local groups. And uh, uh, we have also other ones. So uh, workflow number two, three, and four, basically what they are doing is they are creating backup groups because uh, workspace local groups needs to be migrated into Unity Catalog. So first, we create backup groups. In case something goes wrong, when we migrate these groups into Unity Catalog, we create a backup, just to be sure. So we create those backup groups. We apply the same permission on these backup groups. Once this is done, we replace the old groups okay, with what we call the account level groups. So basically, we just delete them and recreate them by using the account groups. And once this is done, we apply the permission to the account groups. That's workflow number four. And then once this is done, we remove the backup groups because, well, everything has been done. There may be some cases, obviously, where some failures may happen. We handle this failure in the sense that we are not going to migrate a group if we have, for example, a failure in the account groups. I mean, migrate, delete a backup if there is a failure in the account groups, obviously. So these steps is already fully automated, and you just need to click on the button to migrate that. Beforehand, you will need to, well, do everything by hand, which is very cumbersome. Later on, we will be able to have the same thing for the tables, for the clusters, for the workflows, for the pipeline, for the service principle, for the init scripts, and all of the things that needs to be migrated into Unity Catalog. Um, hopefully, all the features will come soon. Yeah, so um, just to summarize, UCX first will run an assessment to understand all the tables that can be upgraded easily and how uh, they can be upgraded. And of course, then you will use the sync method to be able to upgrade the tables from Hive Metastore to uh, UC. Of course, you, you, you can use sometimes deep clone, you can recreate table, you can uh, use in setas, you will have like multiple options, but really it's straightforward. When it comes to mount points, they are uh, replaced by, of course, external locations and for with volumes as well where you can put, for example, your 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 init script, your jars, or all the other things. And the idea is really to help you do this in a very simple and smooth way. And of course, always keep in mind that Unity Catalog will help you govern your data, tabular and non-tabular data easily, and will also unlock you more features like system tables, like lake house monitoring and more and more features. So it's really your time to upgrade to Unity Catalog. Thank you, William, for uh, those clear explanations. And and one more thing, if, they, if a customer face a bug, what are the steps that needs to be followed? So first of all, he needs to subscribe to your channel. Otherwise, he's not going to have assistance. And second of all, he's kidding. He's kidding. <laughs> and second of all, he needs to go into the UCX repository and file an issue. So uh, an issue is just like any standard uh, GitHub repository. You go into the issues and you just create a new issues and you explain very clearly what are the issues that you have. And we are going to uh, fix that eventually. Perfect. Thank you, William. Thank you again for uh, being a host. No, being my, uh, not my host. Your guest. Your my guest. guest, exactly. I'm the host. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you and have a nice weekend. Thank you, Yusef. Bye.